Hello everybody. Becky here with the Simple Spruce Studio. Come on in guys. Let's get some comments going. Working on some more of my stash. We're going to upcycle a little wooden frame here that I've got, that I got from, this came in a box full of frames that I got for like $4 at, um, well actually I think it was like $4.99 at uh, the shop around the corner, <clears throat> Ugh, probably last year, so I'm working my way through them slowly. <laughs> So when you guys hop on, say hi. Let me know you're out there. I'm like, look like my phone is crooked. I know. I got my I got my stick out here again, guys. <laughs> it's my uh, five gallon paint stick, so I can uh, reach my phone. Hi, Carolyn. How are you? All right, we're gonna get started. This is gonna be a quick little flip. Like I said, I've got tons of items over there that I'm trying to work my way through and I decided I wanted to work on a picture frame today. So that's what we're gonna do. Now this frame, this one here, I actually had um, already painted once and was using it for, um, I think, I don't even remember what I had in it. But of course, you know how us crafters are. We've got to redo things. So that was what I'm doing. Hey, Miss Pat, how are you doing? Hi, Abby. Hi, Pam. Hello, guys. Come on in. So, yeah, so we're going to upcycle this. We're going to redo it. It did not have a back. It did not actually even come with a back in it when I originally purchased it. So all I do a lot of times is I will take either... A piece of cardboard like one of the flaps off of a cardboard box cut it off cut it down to size use that I do have a piece of foam board that's I almost just threw it away because it had another piece but yeah I cut it down it fits in there perfect so that is going to be our back for that but first off I want to <laughs> hi Tyler She's having, she's having a good day. She's got lab day today and they're out somewhere giving, she sent me a picture of her giving a rabbit a shot. She was holding some kind of bird or chicken. What are they called? Silkies? Was it a silky? Maybe she'll tell me. <laughs> I don't know. But it had all the fur around its neck. <laughs> So, <clears throat> hi, Darlia. Thank you for sprinkling. Received the stars I purchased from your last haul. Love them. Wish I could have bought two more. I got some extras. I'm still trying to organize, you know, my mess down here. So, I found some more of those stars, and I will be adding them to the website. I'll try to get to that today. So, hi, Beth. The fireplace screen turned out absolutely adorable. Thank you. I'm so glad you like that. How is the grandbaby? She is doing good and she gets cuter by the day. We FaceTime every night. <laughs> Morgan will put, a, put the phone toward the baby and just leave it set there. And we'll just, me and Troy will just sit there and talk to her. I know that probably sounds really crazy, like she could hear us or anything, but it makes us feel good. <laughs> oh, hi, Helen. Thank you for the stars. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Miss Helen, for sprinkling. Girl, you're awesome. Yes. I, as soon as, like I said, just keep an eye out um, for them on the website and... Um, I will send you a message, um, uh, Phyllis, as soon as they are listed live. So then you can go right on there and grab them. So we are going to do a paint color on this. We're going to use DIYs 
mineral chalk paints in little black dress. It's just that, it's black. And we're going to distress back to some of the white. No, she will recognize your voice when she, oh, when you see her, oh, I hope so. I hope so. Oh, she is the cutest little thing. And poor, poor Tyler. <laughs> oh, like I said, she's, she's got about four weeks, four and a half, if she goes full time, full term, but I'm beginning to think she might go early. Her, I don't know how she's doing it today. She's out on some, I don't know if it's farms or what, but she's got lab because she's going to school to be a vet tech. And she is messing with the rabbits and chickens and all kinds of stuff. And I can't imagine what her feet look like right now because her feet are swollen, her legs, her ankles. But she doesn't have ankles right now. But you say hi, oh hi, Grandma Becky. How is that pretty little granddaughter doing? I bet you can't. Oh, we can't. We can't wait to see her. And she's she's doing good. She's putting on weight. She's eating good. So yeah, Morgan's doing good. She feels great. She's had her checkups. The baby's gone already for. Um, hers and they're both doing great. Daddy's doing good too, I guess. <laughs> he's doing online classes, but yeah, we don't we don't get to talk to him much because he's always online doing classes and and we just we just sit there and talk to the baby. Miss Linda, watching from Oklahoma. It's sunny here, too. You guys, let me know, too. I'm testing this out. I'm trying to see. I was on with AT&T this morning, so we'll see how my service is uh, going to be. So... Keep me posted. If I start freezing up, guys, let me know. We're going to get this figured out. I'm hoping we did. I'm hoping. Clear so far. Good deal. Beautiful sunshiny here in Oregon today. Awesome. Hi, Jill. Thank you for sprinkling. You guys are just hopping on. I have got, I just grabbed one of these picture frames out of my stash. And we're going to spruce this thing up. I'm using DIY's little black dress. And as long as I can get this down and all the little crevices there's not there is some detail on this frame but not a whole lot but what there is I do want to bring that back out but I think we're going to be good with one coat oh service very good right now good I missed somebody Patricia Hobbs, first time. Well, welcome, Patricia. So glad to have you. And thank you guys for welcoming a newbie. I love it when you guys do that. We're also glad to have new, see new faces and new people joining all the time. Let's see. I did paint the back before I came on. You know, I don't like torturing you guys too much by making you watch paint dry. <laughs> I always tried to do the 
back or the bottom of something beforehand. Makes it easier for me too because then I got at least one side that's dry that I can put that down. Miss Patricia, where are you watching from? Trying to get down in all those little. You can really notice them once your paint starts drying. That's when they start popping out, the little spots that you missed. Alaska, welcome. How awesome is that? That is definitely on Troy's bucket list. He wants to go to Alaska. So bad. <laughs> Hi, Joanne. You just froze for a few seconds. Thank you, Patricia. Yeah, I want to know because I know they told me to give me like two options to start trying to make sure that service was going to be good, and we're gonna we're gonna try them both today and one tomorrow and we're going to see how it goes. On Lake. My sister lived in Anchorage. Uh, Troy's got a cousin who has a house in Alaska. I forget where it's at. But we see all the pictures they post. Oh, good Lord, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's their retirement vacation home. They still have theirs here in Missouri, but they spend more time in Alaska than they do here, so. Four hours from Anchorage, off the grid. That is awesome. Usually you never freeze when I watch, but you are fuzzy and kind of wavy. But today you are clear. Okay, thank you. I've noticed that a few of the uh, replays I've gone back and noticed it was fuzzy. So we're going to get that fixed. We're going to get it fixed. Sometimes it's iffy when you um, are out of out in the country somewhere. We live in Anchorage. Oh, oh, we got another one, huh? Oh, you lived there, Miss Linda. I gotcha. Yep, just one coat is gonna work on this. Okay, I'm gonna set this aside. And we are going to, now like I said, I'm gonna use the foam board for the backing, but for the inside of the frame, I want the drop cloth. And all I did was I get my drop cloths either at Ace or Lowe's. I've gotten them at Harbor Freight, wherever you can find them. I never do not have drop cloths here. <laughs> this one is not coffee stained or cinnamon stained. Um, I maybe should have ironed it, but we'll use this side where it doesn't need to be. We won't use the little side with the little crease in it. We'll use this side. Hi, Mary Lou, how are you? My picture on here is the largest. Laker trophy, I caught a few. Oh, really? That is awesome. I'm gonna, when I get off here, I'll have to look because it's like really tiny right now. And if I click on it, then I'll lose all my mess, my uh, comments and all that. 
but I gotta check that out. I'll have to show Troy because he'll be tickled pink. Okay, so I want to have a back drop. I want something in the background, I guess. You guys know I love my IOD stamp. This is called Kindest Regards. And I am going to ink it up. And IOD does have ink and ink pads. I've had this ink pad for quite some time. I just keep re-inking it, so I never did purchase theirs. But this here is just Craft Smart ink. Okay, I'm in a room. Missouri US Cellular has crappy service in Bethel where I live. There is no service. It blows my mind, the satellite radio. Oh yeah, and they can also put a man on the moon but can't get us good internet service out in the country. I've been struggling with it, so don't get me started. <laughs> you guys don't want to hear me gripe. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Okay. So I'm just taking my ink pad and I'm going to ink up my, my stamp here. I'm just gonna ink the whole thing up because I don't know exactly what part of it I'm gonna use, what part I'm not. So we're just gonna ink the whole thing up, no biggie. Hi, Laura. Happy Tuesday, Barb. <laughs> Patricia's gr agreeing with me. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Nobody wants to hear me gripe. Okay, so we're going to take this and lay it back down. So I'm going to just start stamping and I think I'm going to stamp down a little bit too further because I got to think that I'm going to wrap this around and, uh, and glue it to the back. I just want to make sure that I get ink writing everywhere I want writing at. are building hundreds of new towers across the U.S. I certainly hope so. We're in the country. Oh, yeah. Oh, you like my apron? Thank you. My simple spruce studio apron. Okay. Let's see. I kind of want it light. I don't want it like real dark. A lot of times if you use the ink and you're doing it on fabric, um, you really need to, oh, that looks good. I don't want it bold, bold, real deep, dark, because I want it to be just a backdrop. I think that's going to be good. I think so. I don't think I need to. And then all I'll do is I will take a baby wipe and, and clean that off. When I get done here, okay, just want to make sure I'm going to run the heat gun over that just to make sure it's, it soaks in pretty quick when you're doing it on fabric, but I just want to make sure it's dry. Yeah, well, my biggest beef too is I use the internet to upload my videos, of course, to YouTube, to my YouTube channel, and I started it this yesterday morning, and halfway through the day, it was still at 19%, and I'm just like, I cannot work like this, so I'm like, okay, I'll get up this morning, and I will go to the coffee shop, and I will use, you know, because i got to have my coffee, I usually get 
breakfast every once in a while. So I thought, well, I'll just go have breakfast and sit up there and use the Wi-Fi, their Wi-Fi while I um, while I upload a video. Well, guess what? Their Wi-Fi wasn't working. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, so much for that idea. All right, we are going to cut this down. Don't need all this. I'm leaving enough so I can wrap it around. some spray adhesive I'm gonna spray my foam board all that's all this is is a piece of foam board from the dollar store let me do it over my trash can so I don't end up getting everything sticky and this is just to be able to stick the drop cloth down to it but I will glue the back I can't read what it says, but I can tell if it's upside down or not. Because <laughs> I think it's French. I can, maybe it's not. Okay, so we're gonna put this on here. Hi, Miss Kim, hi, Lisa. I love the stamp, where did you get that? Darlia, I got it from, it's an IOD stamp, and you can order them through um, Vintage Retail Therapy. Miss Mara, and I will put her link in the description. Okay, now I'm just using hot glue. I'm going to fold this over, get it attached. Yeah, it's my favorite stamp, guys. It's one of those that if somebody was to ask me, okay, the stamps are expensive, you know, I just want to order one to start off with to see how well I like it. You know, which one do you use the most? That one is it, called Kindest Regards. I mean, they've got tons of really cool ones. But if you're going to start off and you want to make sure you like using them, start with that one. Now I add, I wanted to add, I wanted to kind of make it look a little bit, uh, French Provincial, French Country. So I had done a mold up. I always end up doing extra air dry clay molds. And this one here is out of the um, oh, Cameo, I think it is. So this is completely dried and set up. It's been in my little box full of extras for quite some time. So I pulled it out. And I'm going to use it. But yes, it's called Cameos. It's this mold here by IOD. Get 
those tacked down a little bit. I want to just trying to cut the excess off the corners here. The back is really not going to matter. I do like to finish the backs of my stuff, but I will do, once I get it in the frame, I will put a piece of uh, just plain drop cloth to finish off the back nice and neat. Okay, and there we go. We've got it all. Okay, so that is going to go into, look how good that's gonna look, you guys. I might have to trim the paper down just a little bit. Well, look how pretty that's gonna look already, just in the frame like that. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna distress, wet distress. Now you guys know when you use chalk paint, clay base paints, they are, until they're sealed, you can actually, um, they're water-based, so you can wet distress them, and water will reactivate them, so they have to be sealed, whether you use a polycrylic brush-on, spray, uh, a top coat, um, what am I trying to think of here? Big Top is DIY's sealer. What is the best clay to use? Okay. I use the IOD clay, which I like. I'm not sponsored by IOD, um, but I've also used the uh, DAS. I don't know if they say DAS or if they just say D-A-S. And I have that in my Amazon store, on my Amazon store list, which I will also put in the description. And between the two of them, the IOD, I mean, you get more when you buy the DAS clay, but I do, the only difference I've noticed between the two is that the uh, the DOS clay, it's like, it wants to stick to my fingers too much. It gets kind of really sticky, and the IOD doesn't, but they both do well. I know a lot of people have problems with their clay molds cracking. I usually paint over mine before they dry because I'm usually doing lives and I don't have time to wait for them to dry. <laughs> and I notice that they crack less that way. So, I mean, you would, you would be good. You would be probably be happy with either, either one. I like them both. And like I said, I've used them both a lot and that is the only difference I could tell in them. All I'm doing is wet distressing back to some of that white that was on here. Now, if you started out with a purple frame and you wanted to wet distress and you don't want that wet distress to that purple, then either spray paint it or just paint it white. But if you use white as your underneath coat and it's a chalk paint, make sure you seal it and let that dry before you paint your actual top coat over it, your color, top color, black or whatever color you're going to paint over it. Because if you don't, if you have two chalk paints, you're going to distress the black, you're going to distress through the white, and then you're going to go back to that purple. I hope I explained that okay, you guys. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Now, if you're using a different type of paint that's not chalk paint, then for that first coat, then you don't have to worry about it because you won't distress back to the regular color if you're wet distressing. If you're sanding, that's a different story. So we're doing some heavy distressing on this one. And your paint, since the DIY paint is very heavily pigmented, when you do wet distress, it will kind of smear. So always find a clean part of your um, rag or towel. 
and wipe back over it lightly and it'll take some of that smearing away. Hi Rhonda, is the DIY wax, white wax linked in your link tree? Uh, if it says um, vintage retail therapy, yes, you can click on that. That will take you to that site and you can purchase any of the, uh, oh no, does she carry? Yes, Mara carries, uh, I think she carries the DIY. I will put a link. It'll either be Upcycled by Brie or Vintage Retail Therapy. Those are the places that I order my IOD um, and DIY products. But I will, I'll make sure that I have a link. I know Mara, Vintage Retail Therapy, she is in my link tree. Okay, so see how we're just stressing back to that. We're gonna add another detail to another layer. And of course you guys probably guessed it's gold. I am like, I know. Are you guys sick of gold yet? I'm not, I don't know if I ever will be. <laughs> But we're going to highlight the details with a little bit of DIY's Golden Rule. Yes. Pam, thank you. I had to stop and think. Okay, because I know I order all my IOD stuff from her, but I've been ordering DIY from another crafting sister. So, and then I start thinking, okay, wait a minute. Does Mara carry, Mara, Mara carry it? I always want to call her Mara. <laughs> I want to pronounce it Mara. I think she's used to it though. Uh. And then you can also go online and actually look for a stockist or distributor in your area. I know there's a lot of people that have brick and mortars or booths or something that you can uh, find somebody that carries the products. But, and I don't like to promote something that I have never used. I will not do that to you guys. I won't pr promote anything. Well, I'm not, nobody sponsors me. I'm not sponsored by anybody. But, uh, I won't promote anything unless I know that I've used it and I like it, so. And I love the DIY paints. I love the, um, what was the other one? Dixie Bell paints. Oh, I do want to show you guys this. Remember me telling you guys, <laughs> you probably already saw it in the background, how I told you guys that I was gonna try this patina paints that Dixie Bell carries. It's two different color paints that you can paint on an item. And uh, Linda, that's my girl, never sick of gold. <laughs> I see your package has shipped. So excited for it to get here. Oh, you're so welcome. Da, 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 da. Okay, but I wanted to test these out and they were sprays. You put two coats of paint on, let it dry. Then you come back and you spray these patina sprays on it and they turn either a green patina like you would with copper you know, copper patinas and it turns that really bright, like green. And then there's another one that's a rust one. So this is what I started with, guys. I was practicing with it. This is from Dollar General, $3 little thing. I do have a pole house out back that I might display these in, but they're too new. They're, they're just, you know, I don't know. They're not me. <laughs> but I knew that I could do something with them. So this is the new Dixie Belle Patina paint. Check this out. Now I haven't put the rope back on it yet, but look at the patina it gave that. Let me know what you guys think. What do you, what do you guys think of this? 
I even thought about taking some uh, dark wax and waxing it a little bit. You know, it'll seal it in, as it work as a sealer on it too, but then it'll make it look a little bit more aged. It'll give it another layer. So how cool is that? Now, I didn't do the bronze color. I did the copper. I used the copper paint, and then I mixed the blue and green sprays. These are the little sprays that you spray on, and then you got to let them set. So my next one on this one, we're going to test out, and I'll probably do this with you guys just to show you. I know it's going to take a process for the sprays to dry, but... We're gonna work on this. We're gonna do this one on another live. Um, and we're gonna use the bronze and we're gonna turn it to rust. So we're just gonna use the, I think it's green. I don't know which one. I'll have to read the directions. Can't remember if it's the green or the blue spray, but we're gonna make this one look rusty. So I'm excited, but yes, <laughs> I wasn't sure how it was gonna work. I kind of had my doubts, but I thought it turned out pretty cool. So that'll be another one. No, you can't. You have to use one of their patina paints. Or unless you, and you mean, can you use any other kind of? No, because these are patina paints. I think they have to be used together. Don't hold me to that, because I'm new with this product. But that's the impression I got. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Okay. So we are going to, we're going to paint this little guy up. Our mold. We're going to do it black also. Should have painted it the same time I painted the frame and we're going to get this to dry we'll do a little bit of white dist or wet distressing on it Elaine you like the patina paint yeah, I was excited to see, see it work. I made a little bit of a mess with it, but it was fun. Nothing that I'm, I'm a messy crafter though. <laughs> no doubt about that. I am a messy crafter. sure I get all the edges that's the last place I want to have to try to paint after it's been glued down to our canvas our drop cloth hi Marjorie I am doing good how about you hot and humid Georgia Shelley oh bless your heart hi Christina how are you doing girl Like I said, the edges I want, don't want to have to touch up. I haven't seen you on here for a while. I hope things are going good with you. Christina, I'm doing great. How's your new grandbaby? She is getting prettier by the day. She's doing really good. She is doing good. I think we, I was telling everybody earlier, we FaceTime her every night. And Morgan will just set the phone up and go do what she needs to do. And we'll just sit there, me and Troy, and just sit there and talk to her. 
<laughs> you know, we'll talk to Morgan off and on through the whole, you know, call, but mainly it's just a Camille. <laughs> Yeah, I told Tyler the other day, I said, girl, you better get your uh, hospital bag packed. Because that baby is a moving like crazy. And Tyler is, oh my gosh, the poor girl. Her feet are swollen so bad. I told her this morning, I was like, uh, I'm going to post a picture of your foot on my page led by see how swollen your feet are because they might they probably don't believe me <laughs> and i'll tell you this girl's got skinny she's got her dad's feet they got the skinny narrow feet with long toes i always used to tease her all the time saying your toes look like fingers and oh my gosh she looks like it looks like a block with marbles on the end of it now and she'd move, wiggle, she'd FaceTime me and she'd say, look at my feet, mama. She'd wiggle her toes and I'm like, oh my gosh, hon, quit wiggling your toes. They look like they're going to pop off. <laughs> they're so bad. Oh. oh, Christina, it is the best. We, we're so excited, so excited. Okay, so I just painted the cameo mold. And distressed it back a little bit. I told you guys, I'm like probably the messiest crafter. Let me let me wipe my hands off because I know I touched that drop cloth. I'm gonna put black spots all over it. Miss Sandy, the grandbaby is gray. We were just talking about her. <laughs> Soak in Epsom salt water. I'll tell her that. I'll tell her that. She's trying to keep her feet up as much as she can, but, you know, she's still going to vet tech school, and she's out on a farm somewhere today messing with chickens and I don't know what all else. Maybe ducks and chickens, and she sent me pictures. I think she was holding a chicken, a little silky bird, and then she was giving a big old rabbit a shot. So I'm like, oh, that girl's feet have got to be killing her. Hi, Miss Pat. How are you doing, lady? Okay, we are going to make sure my words are up right, the right side up. Well, let's see, I think I want to use this. We're going to add a little detail to the top of the frame just to give it a little extra Let's give it a little extra. <laughs> I can be extra sometimes. I'm just gonna hot glue this in. You can actually use the little glazing things or attach it however you want. If you don't wanna make it permanent. And like I said, what I will do is I will cut a piece of plain drop cloth to fit in here and I will glue that down. Use a little bit of spray adhesive first and then glue the corners down just to give this back part a finished look. Oh, I got hot glue strings everywhere. Good, Pat, I'm glad to hear. Okay, so let's see. I am going to take, I'm still going to let that one dry just a little bit since I've got it wet. This is DIY's Gilding Wax, and it is Golden Rule. They have a copper one, too. Pennies from Heaven. But my thing, I'm just trying to think here. What order? Come on. What order I want to do this in? Because I want to... You can see how dull this looks. I do want to bring, I want to make the bright, the black a little bit brighter. So I'm not going to seal with the, uh, or do I want to? If I want to keep the chalky finish, I would use wax, 
clear wax. I think we're just going to use the clear wax. I was trying to think, do I want to make it shinier, a little bit deeper black, or do I want to leave it? I think I want to leave it like that. So we're just going to use the wax. Yeah, before the gold. i got to think this process out. <laughs> there was no planning ahead. It's one of those, you grab a project, you look at it, and it tells you what it wants you to do. <laughs> now, it does look like the black has gotten uh, a little bit darker, but when it dries down, it will dry back down to uh, more of a chalky finish. But like I said, if you wanted it to be brighter like that, then use either DIY's Big Top Top Coat, Crystal Chandelier by DIY. You can use a polycrylic spray or brush on. That'll all give it a, a brighter finish. You want to keep that chalky finish look, then I'd seal with a wax. And I really should have, see, this is where I say, oh, the process. I should have done this before I put my picture in. The background. Again, DIY paints are heavily pigmented. The reason I do not dip into my can, because then I would contaminate my clear wax. So I'm using what's on the lid and then I will wash my brush after I'm done here because this is my clear wax brush. I don't want to get it out the next time I use it and use green use clear wax on green paint or yellow paint and the black come off in it. So yeah, I will clean that. It's going pretty good. Christina, she's asking me how YouTube is. And well, if my internet would cooperate at home, I'd be able to upload my videos more often and quick, quicker. I tried to yesterday and spent half the day waiting for a t uh, video to upload and it was still at 19%. So I quit trying and thought I'll just go to the coffee shop this morning and use theirs and be able to, because theirs is a lot quicker, faster. They're in town. I guess they consider me out in the boonies. Don't know why. <laughs> But other than that, it's doing good. But I did go to the coffee shop this morning, thought I'll have breakfast, my coffee, and let it upload. Their internet was out. And I was like, what the heck is going on? So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm just gonna go over my mold with the white wax. But other than that, it's, it's going good. I just, uh, the last video I uploaded was a thrift shopping one, so you guys can go check that out. The one I'm trying to upload is one of my crafts that I did from the thrift haul. Okay, so that is gonna go in the middle. Oh, it already looks good. I always have like tons of other little things to add to it, but then I'm looking at it going, oh, do I really want to add anything else to it? I'll have to show you guys. Let me wipe back the excess wax. You do want to do that too. But see, I'm not really wiping off any more paint, but look at my towel. That's how pigmented. That's what I love about it. 
the DIY paints. Okay, so this is what we're working with so far. going to add some gold. Let me see. Usually I use my finger. <laughs> you'll have to wash. If you use the gilding wax with a brush, you'll have to wash the brush out right away because or it, it'll dry up. So we are going to, how do we want to do this? Just gonna go with it, play with it a little and see where I want the gold. Then I'll take my finger and rub on it just to make it so it doesn't look like I just brushed it on. I kind of blend it out. But you just play with it, work with it until you get the look that you think looks good. But I want that little bit of shimmer from the gold. Just gives it another little layer. Let me show you here in just one sec. Nothing major. Can you guys see that? It's gonna add just a little bit of subtle shimmer to it. Trying to look. Yeah, you can see that in there. Do this all the way around and then we're going to do the same on our mold. Now I got a box from this Teresa Rarick a while back that had a bag full of beautiful ribbon and lace. And that's why I was thinking about, am I going to be adding too much to it? But we'll, we'll play with it and see what I'll let you guys decide to help me decide if it's gonna be adding too much to it. Cause like I said, sometimes I can be too extra and sometimes simple, less is more. Make it simple and elegant or what? So we'll get the mold on and then we will see what that looks like and we will go from there. Yes, I do want to remind you guys, if uh, you haven't gone over to YouTube yet and subscribe to my channel over there, make sure you go check that out. That is where I will be posting. If you guys want to shop along with me when I go to thrift stores, estate sales, Goodwill, the bins, and all that stuff, that's where you will find those videos. So you guys can go with me. I will post those videos over there. And then now that the weather is changing, I'll be able to do pre-recorded videos on some um, pieces of furniture and stuff that I've got here that I need to get working on so I don't get yelled at because I'm taking up too much room in the garage. Uh, I think I only have three pieces in the garage with a boat, a lawnmower, a four-wheeler, yeah, that's a sad, a sad, sad place right now. It is a little jam-packed. Yeah, he, he doesn't yell at me. He's just like, oh my gosh, he goes, you can't bring any more 
furniture pieces home until we get rid of some of this other. But I haven't been able to paint anything out there with the weather being ucky. But now it's time to break, break the paint sprayer out. So yeah, over on YouTube, guys, the it, my um, channel over there is the Simple Spruce Studio. Okay. So we just have the mold with a little black dress on it and paint distressed back a little bit. And then we're going to hit the high spots with our gold gilding wax. Oops. Yes, that should bring me up. Beth just subscribed. Yay, thank you. Yes, I got some. And I'm telling you, some of them I have to just, you know, let some music play while I shop and you guys just see what I what I'm looking at because like when I went to Goodwill last time, their music they play in there is so loud. And you know that they love to ding us on copyright. YouTube and Facebook. Okay, let me show you guys this. Okay. So it brought all that detail that that black paint made disappear. are just going to hot glue this right into the middle of this. Okay, before I do that though. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for posting that, for pinning it. I am going to take, I've got a whole bag. I thrifted these, you guys. Look at these antique looking gold rings. I'm assuming they were curtain rod curtain rings that was my guess so this is what they look like and then all I'm gonna do is and I forgot my tools they're right there on that table I'll grab them here I'm gonna take this little eye hook with the little uh, threads on it now I know this frame is soft wood it is real wood but it's a very soft wood I don't know exactly what kind it is, but I know that I can push this in there and turn it with my hand and get it to go. If not, I would take my drill with a really small drill bit and drill a little pilot hole in there to help get it started. But this one I know that I can do. And if it gets to where you can't turn it with your fingers because it hurts, <laughs> gonna do this just stick your little skewer or paint stick or paint stick paintbrush handle in there now that's why I wanted to add the gold so it brings the gold in from this little hanger to the rest of the picture frame let me grab my little needle nose pliers real quick Well, hang on. <laughs> it's rolling away. Let me see if I can open this with, nope, hang on one sec, guys. It is a little bit stronger than I. So I'm just opening that little ring up enough to get it onto this and then we're going to close it there we 
go. How cute, just a little cute little extra detail can take a simple, basic little frame and make it look high end. Isn't that cute? And now we're going to add some hot glue to the back of this and glue that down. probably pine wood. I could guess, but I know I'd be wrong. And Troy come home and said, that wood is such and such. <laughs> he knows his wood usually. When he looks at it, he can tell what kind it is. And, but he's not here for me to ask. So thank you. But I'm there. Probably right. I know it's not oak. <laughs> I know it's not oak. Because that's one of the hardest. So look how cute that looks. Now this is where I wanted you guys to tell me. Should I leave it like it is? Or should I take... Look at this. I know I'm not that close. This beautiful little piece of lace. And I thought about adding a strip to the top. Let me turn this around and show you. Just a strip up here at the top and one at the bottom. So you guys let me know in the comments, yes to the lace or no to the lace. Cause I've got enough of this piece just to hot glue a piece down to the top and the bottom, just to soften it up. Or I've got this one here that looks like little tassels. Let's see what that one looks like. I want to do just, I don't want to go all the way around. I just thought doing one at the top and one at the bottom. So the little tassel one, the one with the little pearls on it, or this one here is just a, got a shiny little ribbon in it. And that's what that looked like. So let's see. No, Carol says no, Mary says no, Stephanie says no, and then I got two yeses. I clamp the wooden. <laughs> and those pliers. <laughs> oh, oh, now we got number. Number three, leave it as is. I think it's like everybody saying no is winning. There's more on it. Nothing else, perfect as is. Like it plain. Okay, we're gonna leave it as is. But do you guys keep in mind this, I will list this today on the website for sale. It'll be listed on there. I am going to take a plain piece of drop cloth, finish off the back so it just looks cleaner and I will have it listed. And it is sealed because I did do the uh, clear wax that seals the paint in. So, yeah, so that is what I have for you guys. Like I said, don't just overlook all those picture frames. I got like a whole box. It probably had 15 or more picture frames in it for like four, I want to say $4.99. I see those hearts. Thank you guys. Ooh. Oh. The little lace through the ring too. Like that. Or what about if we did like a little bow through the smaller ring and it had a little bow hanging from it right here. What do you guys think about that? Here I'm about to do sign off and somebody's like, oh, what about? <laughs> oh, y'all, y'all, y'all. 
we're just going to tie this baby on here real quick just to just to kind of see. And of course, I'm doing it all upside down. So my bow is going to be upside down. <laughs> here, we'll do this real quick before I sign off and we'll see what you guys think. She says real quick. I'll have to play with that a little bit to get it to lay straight and, and cut the little strings off to be the same length. But something like that, yes, yes, love it. All right. I will do that. I will fix that to where it's all nice and straight. You know how you guys know how you got to play with the bow forever to get it straight. But we will do that, and I will snip this off to the same length as the other, and then finish off the back. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Tammy says yes to you. <laughs> and what? No. No bow. I'll make it to where it can be removed. I won't glue it down or attach it permanently. How's that? <laughs> All right, guys. You guys go enjoy the rest of your day. And what is today? It's Tuesday, right? So tomorrow, I will be back on. I still have two other projects sitting over here needing to be something done with them so so you guys will see me tomorrow sometime so all right guys i will see you all later don't forget to check out the website guys and subscribe to youtube love you guys bye